What's up guys? We're back in Rapid City this week at Shepherd's Meadow Retirement Community where we're developing an entire community of manufactured homes. We're in town um, for the 2023 Mid-America Manufactured Housing Expo and that's in Deadwood which is not far from Rapid City, South Dakota. So just giving some updates. I think it's been about a month, maybe more, since we put a video out about this project. Um, I haven't been able to get out here a ton, but it's been moving along well. I'll be using some drone footage, some drone pictures to kind of display how far we've come since our last videos, be able to highlight some of the homes that we've installed since the last time we talked. Steve's parking a single wide right now. So right now the way he's got that house the hitch is really close to the ground but the back end looks like it's probably going to be digging into the pad he might need some mats up under there so that he doesn't sink too far into the ground as he's pushing up this hill and i think that's why we stopped <clears throat> With that, I think he's gonna try and start moving again. Make sure we're gonna hit those mats on the other side. Like I said, I haven't been out here a ton. While they've been doing this, they've actually got quite a bit done since the last time I was out here working. I've been spending some time um, in the office. We're starting a, another business as well. Um, Coteau Prairie Homes is the name of that one. And uh, we'll be selling manufactured and modular homes. We figured since we spent so much time installing them, we know so much about them, why not offer them? To people as well and so i've been spending some time there trying to get that up and running working on marketing working on working on these videos and unfortunately it's at the cost of not being able to capture some of this pretty amazing work that we get done out here and the speed that we do it at There. Now he should crawl up out of there. That's what we use those mats for. Stop for making ruts like that. And it makes us, you can see how much easier that thing started moving once he crawled up on it. And now that he's up over the hump of the pad, it doesn't sink near as much. He's not pushing into the sidewall of it. Now he makes this look so easy, but I promise there's a lot of experience talking there. You know, this park is gonna consist of more than 100 homes when we're done, and he's done, you know, maybe 50 or more in this park alone. And that's over the course of the last year or so. When you think that we've been doing this for about 10 years, yeah, you can see where the smoothness in this operation comes from. To cover a little bit of how far we've come since some of our last videos, some of the first couple, we only have a few out, but some of the first couple started up by this blue double wide. And then, uh, you know, we started putting in a few more homes along this street here. And then we moved over to this row that you see of double wides just behind this empty area. They went ahead and put double wides all down this row. I think if I count them, there's probably, I see nine, but I know there's plenty more up the way. Yeah, they went all the way up this row here with the double wides. They put in some single wides over there. They're prepping that empty space between these doubles and singles to get more houses in. They're gonna finish off this area next. You can see they got piers ready all the way down to the end of the line. So Steve's parking these single wides. These will go in real quick. Single wides are more than twice as fast as double wides. More than. Double wides are a substantial amount of extra work because of the marrying up between the two halves. And 
in about one shot he's almost perfect on these piers we can put our laser laser plumb bob on here he's just about center are all these single wides here ready to go yep. all the way to the end of the line yep. nice yeah, he's got a couple he can pull right here at the end of the street. They store the other ones about a quarter mile that way, but you gotta drive all the way around the section to get them here. So I've also got a time-lapse camera up on the pole there. We had it on the light pole over there watching down the street. And I'll definitely be using some of that footage in these videos as well as a longer form time-lapse to show the whole overarching project as it progresses. Right now it's gonna be covering these lots here that we're just filling in i got uh, my hands on some of the first footage today after leaving it up there for a few months and i was pretty excited to see some of that it looks really good i'll be excited to share some of that with you guys Pretty excited to get that a long form time, time lapse to show that whole project and show different parts along with maybe like a map alongside the uh, video to show what parts that we're working on at the same time. So he just turned so tight there that his tracks ran into the hitch and that's one of the things you gotta watch out for. But yeah, the amazing thing of this machine is that he can stand clear up there and watch what watches axles move while driving it one man can park a house with this machine it's still better with more because more eyes just watch anything that might be going wrong that the driver might be missing it looks like maybe this door popped open in the flexing of the house that can happen because they do move just want to try and get those closed again if you can not sure if this one's gonna stay shut though. That's just to talk a little bit more about the new business that we're starting with Katoprey Homes and the modular manufactured home dealership. I just put a link on the website that uh, explains the difference between manu manufactured and modular homes. They're both built in a factory and I'd say that's about where the similarities end um, because they're both, they both aim to achieve a different goal. Um, manufactured's goal is to be a little more affordable quick 
um, while still maintaining an acceptable level of quality while modular homes are really built to a more rigorous code, the same as, as your typical site built homes. And I put an article out about that um, because I think people oftentimes the group them in the same category. Regardless, we are gonna be selling both. So everything you see here is manufactured homes. And as you can see, I mean, they are, they're beautiful homes, but we're also selling modular homes from a company in Wayne, Nebraska is our builder. Um, they're known as Heritage Homes of Nebraska. And they build some really beautiful, beautiful modular homes. Very custom, a little bit higher end probably, but we wanna be able to appeal to all sorts of people, you know, we want to be able to cover kind of all those ranges because we know how to install these whether it's manufactured or modular the only difference in the installation is the modular is going to go on a permanent foundation and uh, we'll use a crane to set them and i'll be having some videos of those too but this is really our major project that we're working on right now so a lot of manufactured at the moment but yeah you guys should check that out if you're interested in it just to you know, if nothing else, learn a little more. So they've just finished off, or are just finishing off, this row, like I mentioned. Uh, they're kind of finishing touches on these last few homes, skirting, siding, water sewer. Then they're gonna finish those ones that we just looked at over there and most likely move on to this middle section here. And this park will be about full, but it sounds like maybe they're gonna be expanding that way purchasing more land, making more lots. It's gonna be a very large community by the time it's done, if that's the case. What you working on, homie? Well, Skirting well, the wall? Well, oh yeah. Wall, yeah? Oh, for this one? Mm -hmm. So they have to put in a styrofoam wall under these porch models. They skirt them with the two inch thick insulated skirting I've shown. But of course that doesn't mean much when you have a porch on the front of the house that the air can go down into and moisture. So to further protect underneath the home and keep it insulated for the inside portion of the home, they have to go in and actually, I don't know how well you can see that, build this styrofoam wall, notch it around the frames. Um, I don't think it's very fun, <laughs> but it does have to get done to meet code because otherwise that skirting is useless, at least as far as the insulating properties go. And they're putting down this skirting board around the home. We put it on the bottom, the base of the skirting as a solid foundation for it. Um, also makes it easier to mow or weed eat up against if you have to. You can see that he's putting in some pretty big spikes. They do that for these first few boards along the home because they're gonna pour a concrete driveway right next to it. So those are just gonna help hold it in place more. Um, there's all kinds of little things like that that we found, you know, just little tricks. Use bigger stakes here and it makes everybody's lives easier. It's amazing what you learn just with this repetition and with the problems that arise. They run a string line around the house first to be flush. Um, with that skirting because they'll put a top track on and I'll show some of that. I know I've shown some of the skirting in the past, but this is, you know, they're doing this work live. Here's the part that I don't think I've really shown before. Uh, the anchoring system on these homes. So you see the concrete view here goes 44 inches deep or something, or just below frost depth. Um, so we have this, it's like a T bracket. They drill holes through and actually concrete, use concrete bolts to, to anchor that bracket to the concrete pier. And then from there, they'll put these square tubes in. And the square tubing, uh, the crossways is gonna run up to the opposite side cross number. And there's a J bolt that slides through and is tightened up and it pulls that square tube tight. It's a expandable square tube. And then those screws right in the middle hold it in place after it's tight. <clears throat> and then the other side. Um, it just clamps to the bottom of the frame like that. And so they do that on opposite corners <clears throat> to hold the anchor the home to the ground. 
Right, Gandhi? That's right. More house. Everywhere. Everywhere. More house everywhere. Nice. So Steve just finished up parking the last house that he's going to park for today. They just quickly put three single wides in their lots. So that while we're at that expo, our crew can keep moving. Um, like I said, they still have these homes on the end to finish up and then they'll move on to these and start setting these up, blocking and leveling them, skirting them. Should keep them busy for the rest of the week for sure. But who knows, like I said, single wides go really quick. So I think we'll probably call this video here. Just wanted to give an update as to where we're at. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not really covering anything in too great of detail, too specific. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly you guys want to see, but I just want to show this project as it progresses. I think it's really neat to see, you know, the landscape change um, and this, this community be built. It's neat to see it all happen so quickly. Um, but if you guys want to see anything specific in more detail, or any kind of educational stuff, whether it's skirting or, or you know, sitting in on an entire home set and installation. Of course, I plan on doing some of that anyways, but definitely let me know if you guys want to see anything specific and we'll see if we can get a video to make that happen. And we'll see you guys in the next video.